Welcome Aries. Um, so I just felt the need to do an energy check-in guys. So I came right down and sat down and, and I'm doing it. So I just want to start with saying excuse the background noise. My children are running freely and I am in the middle of washing clothes. But Spirit called me in for Aries and the, so this is what we're going to do for Aries. A really quick energy check-in. Uh, let's see. Spirit, what's going on for Aries? What is it that Aries needs to be aware of at this time? Why was we called to give a message to Aries, Spirit? What is it that Aries needs to know? So we have the King of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We also have, okay, the Ace of Pentacles. Something to do with work, Aries. Um, and then we have the Death card as well as the Empress card here. And we have the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So there's definitely something going on with your stability. Um, the uh, challenge or the obstacle here for you, Aries, is it's like you're 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 um, you're moving. It's like there's you're at risk of taking a, a, a taking a leap of faith on something that would be considered a bad investment okay so there's a need to pay attention to the details there's something that you may be missing right now um the past influences is the ace of pentacles so in the past it looks like there was some type of new opportunity there were some resources or um uh this could also be that the bad investment already took place. And so now you're trying to rush to clean up uh, to like recover one's resources from this bad investment. Uh, but if, if that's the case, then this here right here is saying that in the process of trying to recover from a bad investment, there is this uh, either this wasteful energy or you're focused too much on the money aspect and so you're unable to climb out of the hole what you're not seeing is that something does have to come to an end there is some sort of ending that must take place in order for uh, the transformation in order for the change to take place in order for you to be able to transition out of this bad investment here um the advice for you is this empress energy and that really does let me know that there is a need to uh focus on uh for one your confidence but also like there's a need to really focus on where is like where is growth coming from right now because i feel like that there is an investment here that it just doesn't have any growth to it and, and you're not acknowledging this so, but anyways, let's dive in and do some clarifying. I am being called to another tarot deck. Definitely needing to do some reflecting. Or there's a Virgo spirit guide is what I just heard. Trying to open your eyes and illuminate you to this bad investment, Aries. Virgo friend, there's someone around you. Let's see what's going on. Spirit, why is the King of Pentacles here for this situation for Aries? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, wow. So we have the Ace of Cups in the Star card. Okay. Okay. There's definitely this healing energy that is going on. You, Aries, there's there's someone, possibly an Aquarius or Gemini, that you're needing to, um, you're, you're, Aries, you're trying not to heal a situation, and the reason that you're trying not to heal this situation is it has a lot to do with stability. It's like this person took stability away from you. Um,
you're gonna there's 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 this three of cups energy which is letting me know that this is like there's some type of situation that didn't turn out the way that it was uh intended to be uh possibly to do with a friend a family some type of community dynamic um and it, there's a lot like there's something to do with not trying to heal this situation because there was like there's some type of greedy possessive energy here i'm not gonna lie capric i mean aries let's see why is this knight of pentacles here why is the knight of pentacles here in the obstacle position for aries The Justice card, the Three of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. Three of Swords. All the threes are here. Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Three of Swords. Three of Wands is missing. There's some self-work to be done here. Absolutely some self-work that needs to be done here. There's some soul searching, some soul reflecting that needs to take place. Um, I feel like that this is I'm just going to call it like I see it There's going to be some type of message That is going to come in As it pertains to an imbalance And collaborating with this person Mm-hmm There's definitely someone that you need to be, um, that you, that, that the universe is telling you, like, it's, you have to heal. A, there's a dynamic between you and another person that needs to be cleaned up because it's really affecting your perception on, I don't know, like, Actively trying not to calm and heal a situation is causing you to show up in this manipulative energy. It's causing you to not wield your power in the highest light. And I feel it's because either this person left you with the financial burden. I really do feel like that's what it is. I really do. I feel like that whatever this fallout is, it created some type of financial instability for you Aries and um, you're kind of not what I tell you you're not letting it go you're staying chained to this ten of swords you're staying you're actively making a decision to stay chained to this ten of swords and um uh, You're being told to move forward. Give me a second, guys. Okay. So, I, I, I do feel as if you're... St like, there's this need to release this... Like, in the past, the past influences is the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like that there was this stinginess. This person was stingy in the past. Either you were stingy or this person was stingy in the past. And it's like there's a need to release it. Like, it's over. The worst is over with the Ten of Swords being here on the board. It's time to overcome this past betrayal and move forward. You have to actively release this betrayal. You're holding on to it. What is, why is the death card here for what's not being seen for Aries? What is this death energy? You're definitely unable to move forward and you're not seeing that by holding on to this Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, it's uh, this Ten of Swords, it's creating a burden and it's not allowing you to move forward. Why is the Ten, I mean, why is the death card here? Uh, for what's not being seen for Aries spirit. So we have the Queen of Cups, the Two of Cups, uh oh, the Ten, uh, the King of Pentacles again, 
and then we have the five of wands so um maybe there's definitely a need to put these insecurities and this moodiness to rest um, it's really preventing you from moving forward. Holding on to this disharmony is really affecting your stability. So there's this need to do some grounding work. Whatever Aries is resonating with this reading, I would really encourage you, especially since Mars is now went retrograde, I would really encourage you to um, do some root chakra work in order to get grounded because by getting grounded and getting secure within oneself you'll be able to see how this holding on to this sorry about that guys i hit the mouse but holding on to this betrayal is really affecting you from be becoming stable and secure um so there's a need to really address this this could be with the Scorpio. I do have uh, the King of Pentacles is Aries Taurus energy. The Queen of Cups is Gemini Cancer energy. So there's holding on to some sort of resentment is affecting you, your ability to manifest in stability. Let's get to this Empress energy. Why is the Empress energy here for the advice for Aries? There's definitely a need to do some nurturing, some self-care, and working on one's confidence. Really getting back into this harmonious place, working on your feminine energy as well. Spirit, can you please clarify the Empress energy for the advice for Aries? The Five of Cups, the Three of Swords, the Four of Cups. And the two of swords okay so for a few just for a select few um there's a need to make peace with someone um there's a need to especially to do with the mother figure if there's an aries that is how uh, let's say i'm not going to say you're not talking to this person but i will say that i do feel like if there's a libra taurus or a mother figure in your life aries it could be a baby, a baby mother, or this could be your mother. Um, there is a need to really uh, decide to look at a truth. Like there's something, there's a truth that you're will, like that you're willingly deciding not to look at, and because you're unwilling to look at this truth, um, if I could just be honest, and I usually am. Uh, What's causing a discord between you and this person lies within a mother. It is to do with a mother figure. So either this is the mother of your children, the father, you're the mother of their children, or your mother got in the middle of this, or their mother got in the middle of this, or a past, like a, a childhood dispute that you've had with your mother is affecting this connection here. And so there's a need to really address this trauma there's a need to address this trauma because this trauma is really preventing you from seeing the forest it's like this trauma is, is is acting as a tree and it's preventing you from seeing the entire forest let's see let's get a serena message for this for aries So to run down the majors that we have on the board, we have Scorpio with the death. We have Libra and Taurus with the Empress. We have Aquarius here with the star card. We have more Libra here with the justice. We have Capricorn here with the devil card, guys. All right, Spirit, what does uh, Aries need to surrender in order to move forward? What needs to be surrendered here for Aries? Spirit, can you please clarify? Thank you. So we, oh, surrendered now. It says, accept people in its situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. 
then you can see things clearly and make the best decision. It says surrender procrastination. Now is the time to jump on a go instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. This is for Aries Spirit. Can you please close this message up for us? Thank you. Got two. So we have, it's a time for healing, absolutely. And it's a time to give rather than to take. And then we also have surrender to the divine at the bottom of the deck. Guys, I think that pretty much summed up this reading. I pray that these messages provided you with some guidance on your journey. If you found that these messages do resonate, we would absolutely appreciate a thumbs up down below. And in all that we do and in all that we say moving forward, Aries, let's choose peace. Love and light, guys.